Hello everyone. So we're back now to our 3D effects again. So kanina ang nakita niyo po is applying 3D effects to a particular text. This time I will be showing you on how to apply 3D effects to a particular shape this time. So let me open again my Photoshop. Okay. So let me create again a new file. Again, same, I will not be changing that one anymore. So double click this area to unlock. If you want, you can apply a background color, but in my case, I'm not going to apply a color. So I will duplicate this layer by simply pressing Ctrl J or right click, then duplicate the layer. So Ctrl J to duplicate. But I will be changing the color of this layer. So, you can use a solid color or you can use a gradient color. For example, I would like to use this one. So, I would like to use this one as my gradient color. Okay. See what will happen. This time, I would like to make this one into a cube. This will, this area, the second layer will turn into a cube or a 3D effects. You have to go back to the 3D menu, new shape from layer. So may mga makikita na po tayo dito, what will be the output or the shape that you would like to produce. For example, I would like to use cube. See what will happen. See? While ago, this is my file. But once I turn this one into a new shape, cube, the layer will turn into a cube now. So the same procedure as we applied in the text. You can click this button, the 3D scene, to apply a color. You can right click and 3D object rotate tool. Then you can rotate the object to anywhere you want to. So that depends upon you. Especially if you would like to see the top view, the left view, the right view, see? Okay. So example, I would like to use the 3D scene. Again, if the 3D scene will not be displayed, you can go to the Windows menu, then click 3D. So 3D effect. So under the scene, you will now be able to see the left, the right. This is the left, the right, the top, and the front. The front view. See? You can change now each view. So let's say, for example, the left view. If you would like to change the color, or if you would like to apply filter, so a mesh. So example, the right. So you can click the mesh, then right. You can choose a different color. If you don't want a solid color, you can use a different color. So in my case, example, I would like to use this one, the pattern. These are the different patterns that you can see. See? Example, I would like to use this one. Look what will happen to this one. See? It has been changed already. So that is right. If you would like to change the top, again, you can choose a different one. So example, I will be choosing... This one again. See, then let's choose now. To that. Okay. Then you can choose. If you'd like to see the output, you can click the 3D object rotate tool and shift for you to see the output. See. See? And let's say for example I would like to choose again bottom what is the purpose of this one the light so if you'd like to change the color let's say for example from black see lines has been changed so if you like it yellow see it will light it let's make it yellow the illumination the reflection so you can Experiment. So let's try to see 
So I already have this one. See? The front. Let's choose the same. See? The back. So in that way, I was able to apply this texture to my cube already. The left. If you want, you can choose a different texture in every side you want. So you see. Now what if you would like to see the top view, the bottom view, there. You can now change the color. If you would like to apply a lightness, Make sure that this one, the ground plane shadow capture has been chosen. Just click OK, infinite light. Again, the softness, somewhat similar to the video that I have shown to you a while ago. So, then click this one. The 3D light pan tool or the rotate tool. See where we would like to see the lightness. See, something is happening. So, this one should be dark. The infinite light too. Example, this one. You can choose one other person. So, example, this one. Then, the infinite light three. So, there. You can go now to the scene. There. See? So, now, apply that one. Then, you can also use... Choose this one, the 3D effect. Actually, aside from using the 3D object tool, you can also use this one. See what will happen to this one. See? The pan, the slide one, the 3D slide tool. As if it goes far, as if it goes nearer to you. Then we have this one. Let's change. It's changing, right? Then the blue one. What about the center? Now let's say for example that is my 3D effect for the cube. If you're already satisfied with that one, so you can now exit this one and click this select tool. So I already have a cube as if it is somewhat falling the box or the cube is falling or about to fall so that is how easy and how are you going to create a 3d effect to a particular shape now if in case that you've changed your mind let's say for example aside from that one then i will duplicate again this time i will be changing that into Gradient color. So let's apply a solid color this time. So blue. We go back to the 3D shape. This time I would like to use a soda can. See what will happen. See? I was able to produce already a soda can which is in a 3D effect. If you would like to see or to change or to modify this one, you can always click the 3D scene. You can move. You can change the lightness. You can change the mesh. So, example, this one I would like to use this one. See what will happen. See? Uh, let's say, for example, under the. So, that is for the cup. For the cup, let's say, for example, so for the top material, I would like to change that into a block. See? Or this one. There. How about this one? So it's up to you what will be the design of the mesh that you would like to apply to your 3D object. You can always use this one to move. To rotate it down, see, to move, 
If you are already satisfied, you can always go and click the select tool. Then there, I was able to create now a 3D effect of a soda can. So that is only how easy on how to create a 3D effect using the different shape. So I hope you learned a lot and see you in my next video.